special weird bonus content. Um, I'm going to clean the kitchen and I thought I should do that on the clock. I'm also listening to music on headphones that don't sync up with this, so I'm using the phone microphone, and I don't know how I oh, modulate my voice, what's normal, because I have headphones on. It's a completely weird stream, but I wanted to share it with future me. So I've lived, you know, it's been a mess. I would say my whole life, but I haven't lived in this one space my whole life, but everywhere I've lived has been a mess. <sighs> Let's see, we're gonna make it so that when I open the door, Anyway, um, so my flow for a long time has been, has been dirty here, wash in the sink, a drying rack here with clean stuff that doesn't go in the dishwasher. But that means because I'm not, I'm never, I'm never like caught up on cleaning. That means this space is always full of a mess of dirty things and it's right next to the stove. And I mean, well right now, cause I've been feeling like crud for most of 2024, it's just pretty much a mess everywhere. But I have decided that I'm gonna keep this clear and this side will be where I put dirty things for hand washing or waiting to go in the dishwasher. And clean stuff will go way in that corner underneath, I have a glass rack and I can put these, I have these kind of wooden peg racks to dry my hand washing. Just, I'm just moving, I'm shifting everything left. And for whatever reason, I never had the headspace to do it and now I'm gonna do it while I'm also copying an album, making tea. I just feel better, you know? So. This doesn't belong in here. This doesn't belong in here. Um, you know, until this moment, this was really hard. Uh, people I know, I'll just say, maybe an earlier version of me would say I'm lazy or I have some, just whatever that's preventing me from doing this. Um, but there's no reason to be, um, down on oneself. Uh, I have an issue with mental health labels. Um, and that's, uh, okay, well this needs to be cleaned more than wiped down, so. So yeah, I'm putting dirty things over there. Now this I think is clean, it is. 
Um, and it's waiting for a flower bud or something. This has a place. That has a place, but it's probably dirty, so it goes over here with the dirty stuff. Um, but yeah, I um, this has a place and it's clean enough. These need cleaning. This needs cleaning. Um, all right, well, I love giving all my theories, you know? So my theory is that um, something's going on with the music, so. seems to be buffering or something, so, or unless this got disconnected. Hopefully it'll just start, restart soon. Uh, I believe that, okay, so I, my diagnosis, the pertinent one for now is ADHD and chronic pain. Pertinent ones for now. ADHD. I believe that attention, that we have we have limited time and we have limited focus in that during that time of what we're going to do, and um, we choose what we're going to do, and deciding is really hard. And then we have our various impairments. Um, like chronic pain. In terms of, like I said earlier, I have a little bit of an issue with calling, with, with psychological names for things like ADHD. Um, enough people have it, or enough people have it sometimes, that I think ADHD is not a disorder. I think it's part of human brain function to uh, bop around from topic to topic. As I've said previously, where else would new ideas come from? <laughs> if we're always doing what we've done before, or, you know, what we have sort of pre-programmed, then where would new ideas come from? And, you know, surprise, surprise, people who have ADHD are creative and so this is taking a little bit more effort than I thought. What do you what do you expect when you haven't cleaned something ever? Well, in a long time. And normally I would just give up and not, you know, ah, this is too hard. Instead of continuing to sort of think, well, what are the right tools? And why did the music stop playing? So that's an example, you know, oh, if I stayed on my task, music is not playing. Let me just try reloading the website. The album I'm listening to returns automatically, but not until 9.13. I was talking in there as if these were the headphones with a microphone in it, but I'm specifically using the fact that they're not 
to listen to music. That you can't hear and that can't be content blocked. So what I was talking about was, um, to me, I think ADHD is no problem if you love yourself and are um, accepting and I, I, I don't even want to say forgiving. Just kind of put those that judgment way of looking at things out of my mind, like right now, or uh, fast forward, you know, re rewind two minutes. I interrupted myself while I was talking because I made a decision that the music was important to me, that, that it was worth interrupting for. Like, I, if there is no... If there's no thought interrupting or loud, then, you know, how would you leave a building when the fire alarm goes off or whatever? No, nope, I'm sorry. I'm sticking to my original plan. So, to me, ADHD is just normal life. And it's the pathologizing of it that makes all the problems. Well, right now, I'm having problems made by the fact that the schmutz back there... The schmutz is strong with these. Uh, but I'll, oh, I've got this. This is like the magic get everything off. I usually use it. Ah, it's, it scratches. Whoops. It did scratch. I mean, I don't care about this kitchen very much. Eh, I just need a little bit of time. So in that instance, the problem is thinking that there's a specific amount of time it's supposed to take to clean something. And that thinking that there's a specific amount of time that something is supposed to take, specific isn't even the right word. All I would say is not that there's this impatience to move on to the next thing that does interfere with what's something I did earlier today um, well I mean this is a great example but I did something earlier today that was extremely tedious and I thought you know Normal, my normal me would think, my God, what are you doing? What a waste of time. Oh, I'm going to wash my hands. I'm interrupting myself to do the next thing that I want to do in the middle of the thing. I, I just, I just don't think it's a pathology. I think it's just normal life. So, normal life is a series of interruptions tasks interrupted. And by the way, you know, of course we arrive in the middle. We don't arrive at the beginning of all, <laughs> of all actions. We arrive and there's a lot going on in this life, in this world before we are born. The difficulty is in managing it. So why did I wash my hands? For a second, I didn't remember. And then I used my senses to look and my memory. And I my logic, and I'm like, I washed my hands, that means I was going to touch something that I'm going to eat, or in this case, drink, ingest. I wanted to put the lid on because stuff might be flying around. I don't know. I just care about keeping stuff out of my mouth that I don't, even though I use I don't use harmful chemicals if I can avoid it. But I think certain things, I've been prevented from doing a good job uh, at organizing my own life because it didn't seem that like me and my home was a high enough, was important enough for me to take as much time as I wanted to. Okay, I'm working up a sweat, time for a short 
short sleeve shirt. Um, another example of ADHD, an interrupting thought that I chose over the one, um, you know, over what I was in the middle of doing. And yet again, now I'm paying attention to the music. Multiple things at once. And then, you know, we talk about multitasking, and I've heard some, um, I guess, psychologists um, speculate that we don't actually have multitasking. What we have is, well, I don't know, because I'm not an expert, but in information technology or information management, but it's like, we focus on one thing, but we can juggle the number of things that we're doing. Uh, so in a millisecond, nanosecond, microsecond, whatever, we're having one thought, one focus. It sounded true. And I'm sure whoever said it did some study to back it up. Uh, and, and in terms of cleaning, I'm going to do this until I'm sick of it, which is fast approaching. So I might put off cleaning the salt container until this salt's almost all gone. So when it's all gone, I'll clean it real good, real good, inside and out. And just focus on, let's finish the wall. So I can have one out, one specific thing that I completed. Uh, that's another thing, you know, we like to do things in chunks that make sense to our brain and are satisfying. So right now I'm just doing this wall and this, and that's gonna be the extent of my cleaning because I don't want to spend more time and energy and focus on cleaning right now. I don't have that much limitless energy. But as long as I can make it fun, listen to music and wiggle my butt, then it's worth doing. And the thing I care the most about is the, the floor, the bottom part. Uh, but yeah, like I said, we, I get this idea of how long and how much effort something is supposed to take. And, um, I don't know where that idea comes from, except everything is taking too long. Maybe it's capitalism. Like this isn't making me money. This isn't impressing anyone. I got to move on to something more important. So, you know, there's no time for doing a good job on something that only I benefit from. That's ridiculous. 
I'm not worth it. Now that I am worth it. <laughs> Sometimes I've had the experience where people don't understand that my nasty voice is not the one that I it's not my real voice but maybe I get confused too because I think it has been my real voice for a long time sometimes In terms of why did I turn the stream on, I don't even know if you can hear me well. Because um, I keep thinking that I'm talking into the earphones like I normally do. But in terms of why I turned the stream on, I, um, I have got this idea in my head that streaming is me clocking in for certain types of work. And I want future me, my audience, um, to see this, what I've done re to reclaim my house, my kitchen. And by the way, using the stream as like my work time and clock in, it also means that uh, when I'm not streaming, I feel more clocked out. And it's, of course, I still, you know, cook for myself and do plenty of stuff. But there are certain tasks, like um, <laughs> when I feel, when my chronic pain is really bad, I've said that I can't do any two step, anything that takes more than one step, can't do. Well, that's maybe anything that takes more than one step I stream currently. And any, so when, when I'm off the clock, I still do stuff, but it's simple stuff. And I, if I think of something and I'm like, oh, I'll stream that in the next couple days. And then I believe that I have, you know, like work time and time off, rest time. So, Real rest. Okay, now I'm going to let that dry. I'm giving myself actual rest and time off, which is super important. Hey, um, I'm just streaming, cleaning in my kitchen and talking about my uh, grappling with self-care and uh, ADHD and whatnot. And the fact that we have disease names for what I think is just natural and normal, I don't think that helps. I, for some people, it seems to help. It's like, well, I have a community or I have an explanation. But there's a, t there's a time when um, It, the description becomes a, for me, it felt like it would become a prophecy, self-fulfilling prophecy, or um, just, I won't be organized because I have ADHD. I don't know, I'm just trying to pay attention and do more of what I want. I'm suddenly very warm, so I'm wearing like, heavy sweatpants, so I'm going to put shorts on. I don't know if this falls under ADHD or not, but I pay close attention to my comfort, and that includes temperature, all the time. And my friends, some of them, think I'm crazy because I'll change outfits as many times as I feel like it. I don't, maybe they don't have fluctuations of temperature, uh, but I do, and I don't want to feel hot and sweaty in my kitchen, so I'm going to put on shorts.
I pay attention to the weather. <laughs> Not a lot, a lot, but uh, when it gets to be really cold, and I don't want to, I don't want to feel cold, uh, sometimes like a front will pass through and like it might get warmer after the sun goes down because of the air. Eh, you know, so I just pay attention to stuff like that. <laughs> if you're just tuning in, I was explaining earlier, my whole kitchen has been a mess for forever. And I uh, used to have dirty stuff there to wash in the sink, to dry there. But then I never had a clean counter next to the stove and I want a clean counter next to the stove. So uh, now I'm gonna keep the dirty stuff there and dry it there in the corner. And that's, for some reason, I don't know how long I've had this idea, but I never felt able to do it until right now. And I thought, oh, I can do that. It's not that hard. Because my chronic pain is more under control than it's been in a long time. And my mental problems, conditions, my mental state is higher than it's been in a long time. Uh, I usually like things to air dry, but I'm impatient. Well, it's a kitchen counter. It's going to get wet and dry over and over and over again. So, you know, sometimes I'm not getting the tasks done that I want to get done because I don't have a clean counter. hard time with this anchor hawking set of measuring cups. I always dribble. I was somewhere else and they had the, a Pyrex brand and it, I was able to pour it with no <laughs> dribbles. It was, it looked totally different, had a different shaped lip, more like this. And I was you know, I'll always use whatever I have because it's, as long as it's, as long as it's usable, I don't buy new, but I was like, I dream of getting the Pyrex version. Uh, iced tea, I drink, I drink constantly. My new clear counter. Now I will keep, I will still keep the salt and the pepper back there. Uh, I'm hungry. I'm gonna have a hot dog. Microwave or pan?
I got. The pan gives it flavor. I've got some. I've cut some leftover grease from previous cooking and it doesn't smell rancid, so it's fine and it's gonna give more flavor. Uh, this is actually kielbasa, which someone gave me. I've never bought that before in my life. They're pretty weird. I don't know how I ended up with, I mean, you know, someone gave them to me. But I'm gonna eat mine like a hot dog on a bun with mustard and maybe some onions. Turn this up. I guess, do I want more than one? I can decide that later. Oh, that's the thing about how I manage my mind. Um, so when I go out, I would sit in um, the seats, you know, where you can watch. Uh, I mean, I, I'm avoiding saying the bar because it's not just a bar like a liquor bar. There are some restaurants, you know, where you can see into the kitchen and stuff. And I become friends with some of the people who work there and I'd say, you know, I love watching someone else do work. <laughs> it's so satisfying. <laughs> mm. Okay, I just saw, here, here's how, you know, my brain. So ADHD or whatever we want to call it, um, new ideas are good, right? You know, do something off the beaten path. But then, You've only done something once, and it's not in your... I, one of my principles is that people put their memories down, and I think that's, I think that makes it worse. Um, talk about a self-fulfilling prophecy, to just say like, oh, I have a shitty memory or whatever. Well, you will. Anyway, there's a brown paper sack in the bottom of my refrigerator. And right away, I don't, I remember putting something in it, but I don't remember what it was. And I believe, now, so I'm right now, I'm talking, and I've got music in my ear, and I'm cooking. So it's very unlikely that I'm going to remember what it is, but that doesn't, I don't, that doesn't threaten me that I have a shit memory or I'm a shitty bad person. I just think when my stimuli go down, I'll remember what it is, but I do want to remember what I put in the fridge in a brown paper bag. Because that was sort of an unusual thing to do. And I probably should move it into like a clear uh, Ziploc bag. I'm also, you can't see, but I'm, uh, I've got a dishwasher full of clean dishes to unload. Someday I'll tackle the other half of this kitchen that's a big flippin' floppin' mess. <laughs> and people I observe seem to operate like giving yourself a hard time is what gets things uh, done. And I don't see any evidence of that because the harder I am on myself, the less I get done. The worse I, off I am, the worse I think about myself and I don't get things done at all. And it becomes a cycle in which I think that I'm dysfunctional and that I can't do better. So I have this motivation to reason that I'm fine and that I can handle whatever if I let myself, if I give myself the time. So, you know, now I'm confident that, yeah, I'll get all this cleared off. I don't know when, but it'll be when I want. Okay, I'll look at your, I'll look at your text now. 
Right, so I'm reading, my ADHD gets real bad. I have to do, be doing like five things all at once. What I'm doing right now is listening to music that you can't hear, that I'm also recording. I mean, like I'm copying <laughs> music for my own collection. So I'm monitoring, I like, when it gets to a point I want to stop, I'll go in there and maybe the file is already too big. So that's on my mind. I'm cooking, I'm brewing tea, I'm cleaning this, I'm emptying the dishwasher, I'm talking to y'all, I'm drinking a drink, I'm trying to remember what's in the brown paper sack. All I have to do is look, but I'm like, woohoo, I want to remember. <laughs> I mean, I know it's something unusual, because why? Oh, 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 I know what it is. It's, um, and I know why I put it in a brown paper sack. And now I'm smelling the food cooking, so it needs to roll to a different side. Our senses are what, you know, tell me what, what's going on. So that I, that's where I get my data to decide what to do. The stuff in the brown paper sack in the bottom of my fridge door. My fridge is broken and it freezes things. Last night while I was asleep, I heard a, I heard a crash and I didn't know what it was and I didn't get out of bed because I didn't care. I knew I was safe. And then um, this morning when I opened my, I mean, I just thought something fell off the wall. I'm an artist. I move things around all the time. Sometimes things fall over. I knew, you know, I wasn't getting broken into. There wasn't a tornado. I don't have an animal. Anyway, um, then this morning I go, I go to my fridge and there's a broken, oh, I'll, I can show you. I forget. <laughs> I go to my fridge and there is... A fever tree. Um, this this is a broken club soda. There was a club soda bottle here, so I shouldn't be touching that with my finger because there's probably pieces of glass. But um, when I opened this this morning, glass fell out. Yeah, and I'm in bare feet, and I haven't really done a great job of cleaning. But I checked. I picked the pieces. The biggest pieces were on this shelf. Here's a small piece on this shelf. And there's some more. Um, and I put the, anyway, so, so I, then I removed every, whoa, I'm burning my dinner. Then I removed every, um, I think the glass might be in here now. No, I don't know where I put it. But, um, but I will remember when I have fewer stimuli. Uh, I need to turn that way down and turn the fan on. And maybe I just need to turn it off. But I'm not convinced it's fully hot all the way through, just burnt on the outside. I had it turned up too high. Um, yeah, so I'm doing many, 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 many things. My fridge freezes things, but it does so inconsistently. This is a big jug of tea. I keep condiments. I keep, this bread is not currently frozen. Uh, this bacon is frozen. It tends to freeze less the lower down you go. So if I want to use this bacon sometime soon, maybe if I put it in there, it'll work again. Um, the cheese isn't frozen. It's confusing. But the temperature says it's 20-something, and that's below freezing. Let me get that other piece of glass while I'm thinking about it. I need to just use a wet rag instead of my fingers to doy. And where do I want to put it anyway? Um, yeah, I'll read your next comment. I, if I don't, I get super antsy in the pantsy. Yeah, um, well, yeah, I mean, I think I'm proving that also about myself. Whoops. Oh my gosh, you're freaking me out. Haha. <laughs> um, See, I almost wish my kitchen was all messy because it would give me some to do. Yeah, um, so so it's a it's a kind of a dreary day. And on Instagram, I talked about how you know when I like warm and sunny, but when the weather goes cold, I can um, I can nest and and then I later, you know, I, I was sitting there and I was like, oh, I have a night to myself. I can take care of myself. Instead of 
looking at things in terms of like, oh my god, my awful kitchen, I've got to do something about it. Because my mood is different, I'm like, oh, I get to do something for me tonight. I have no other, you know, plans or demands. Um... Oh, Woodburn, that sounds really cool. So, um, because that, I keep, I keep carbonated things in cans in there and they do fine, but that carbonated soda in a bottle broke, exploded. So I moved, I was like, oh, I won't keep anything in there in a glass bottle that's carbonated. But then I decided as an experiment to put some on that bottom where it doesn't freeze as much. And then I put it in thick, you know, brown paper bag to, um, to, to pull, to catch it if it does explode. Uh, yeah, I don't feel like unloading my dishwasher right now because it's almost time for me to eat. Oh, another thing. <laughs> I'm wearing the headphones that don't have a microphone, but normally I stream with headphones with a microphone. So I keep acting like you. I have a microphone and you can hear me, but you can't. I might end this stream, but it was great to see you. Um, oh, let me see about the wood burning. I mean, this is very impressive to me. I'd be interested in seeing it. Uh, I think before I eat, I'm going to... Oh, so being able to live within mess, this is a representation of my mind in a way, because like, of course, life is about, for me, life is about a multitude of unfinished projects. And what do I devote my limited time and energy to doing? And if I allow myself to think, this has to be done now or on a certain schedule, then I'm I've got links, um, I mean, I don't know if it's on social media or something, I don't know. Um, oh, I think you could put links in my chat. I don't think they um, are uh, filtered out if you want to just put it here. Or um, I'm, I hang out on Mastodon, I've got a YouTube channel where this links to, and I have my own website, which is my link tree, and my link tree has an email address. It's at my link tree address is rmiddleton.art. Um, but yeah, I was uh, I was just talking about multitasking and how we we shift our focus and we do one thing. Like I just talked to you, but I was holding the other thing I was talking about, which was which was the way I juggle physical tasks that need doing. I'm probably gonna turn it off when I eat because I don't want to shoot myself a uh, film, uh, not film, but I don't think I want to eat a hot dog with camera. <laughs> yeah. And I'm not even gonna, I lied earlier and I was like, maybe I'll cut up some onions. No, I'm just gonna eat it with ketchup and mustard. With just a slice of bread. And yeah, it's burned. Mustard, my brain goes, where's the mustard? Mustard doesn't have to be refrigerated. Currently it's just on the counter, but eventually I'll have it in the pantry. The ketchup is in the fridge. So it was worth coming on that you caught me and then um, I'll share this to to um, my YouTube. If you stream, you know, you, you know how you stream and there are times when it'll say one viewer and you don't actually have a viewer. I don't believe 
it, it, it has a one almost all the time. I, I've, I've done a stream where it has a one the whole time, and then I get to the end and the report is zero viewers. So I like to believe that that one is my, um, yeah, uh, well, um, yeah, I could, I could look at it while I eat. I'm about to end this. Um, but I was just saying I like to believe that that one phantom viewer is future me. <laughs> future me who loves everything I have to say. It's a JPEG, finicky. Okay, um, if you want to show it in a stream, I can stop this and go to my computer and eat my hot dog while I go to your, um, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, see you there. Also, future viewers, bye. <laughs> this is clean now underneath this. Tomorrow will be a new day. Uh, baby steps, little progress. Poco a poco. <laughs> <laughs>